Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have something different for you. Uh, today I have this three stage fuel module for a DD15 engine. This is the old type from 2008 all the way to 2013. That's when this one was discontinued. So many trucks from those years are going to still have this fuel module. And today I'm going to show you then it is possible to replace it. Detroit sells a kit and this kit is going to be uh, the replacement for this 3 stage fuel filter housing. This kit is going to come with all the parts that you need to discard this 3 stage fuel housing. The benefit of doing this is then this is going to give you the ability to avoid many of the problems in this three stage fuel filter housing presents over the time and also is going to give you the ability to have the newer style fuel filter housing on your truck the old fuel filter housing is something that you don't need to use anymore it's a disposable um, housing, you don't have to reuse it. Uh, Detroit doesn't ask for it as a core, so you can just, you know, throw it away or save it if, in, in case uh, the housing is in a good condition. If the housing is in a good condition, you can reuse it for another truck, and uh, that's pretty much it. This um, new fuel filter housing kit. It's a very expensive kit, I would say this one costs around like, depending where you are, $1,700. It will depend on where you are, who's selling it, and you know, the tax rate and everything. And it's not very cheap, no, no, no cheap at all. But, um, you know, it is the best when you are having many different type of fuel problems. If you're having problems like it's hard, to start sometimes in the morning you start the engine and it cranks it doesn't start it's mostly related to the fuel filter housing then goes bad and over the time this one is just going to create problems like this in this case the fuel filter housing is already installed and this is the way it looks with all the parts in there you can see then everything is right on place the kit comes with all the components that you need to put it right as it goes like if it was original from factory there is one ball over here that you see is gonna be missing but this is because this part over here doesn't come with the bracket and holds this part but it's not going to be a big deal this can stay like this and then uh, you're gonna have all the hoses the sensors the wiring to connect the new locations of the sensors the lines then go from the uh, injector returns and rail returns and everything else that is needed. There is some small modifications that you have to do. The kit comes with everything you need, but still you have to do modifications. And that mainly goes for the fuel lines, the ones that are originally from the truck. You can see this is the fuel return line and the return line goes right here. And this one is too far away from the original position. So what you have to do is cut the line and get it closer over here because we don't need this much anymore. So we need to cut the line and get it closer to here using the same fitting. And we just need to use some of these, you know, new fittings for the line. And same thing goes to this one. This is the inlet line right here. See this comes from the fuel filter, um, um, fuel water separator, sorry. So it comes from this line over here. And this one is too short in the other way. See, this one doesn't reach the fitting right here. This one is just too short and it's impossible to get it there. And the only way to actually make this line to reach here is to replace the line. And that's the reason why we have this new line that we're gonna be using. We have to run the line from here to here. And that will be the last thing to do pretty much because the, uh, the housing is right on position everything is there everything we need is there so it's just now time to connect the lines to prime the system 
In this case, you can prime it in different ways. This fuel filter housing is very easy to prime. The fuel travels pretty smooth compared to the three stage, but still you can use the tool, the special tool, to prime the system, which is going to be here. You insert it here and you can pump the pressure and it's gonna build the pressure inside. Or you can use the primer pump, then is this one. The primer pump is going to pull the fuel from the fuel filter um, water separator right here. And it's going to inject the fuel in all the system. But this system primes the fuel faster, even though then you probably is no you are going not going to have the primer pump to prime the air out of the system, you can still use the primer pump and this one is going to be faster than the old style primer pump on the three stage fuel filter. Since that one is kind of like old school design, this design was introduced in 2014 and up to right now, they still keep in the same design on the fuel filter housing, two stage fuel filter housing. 2022s still have the same fuel filter housing. It varies on different sensors and components for the newer trucks, but the housing itself is going to be the same. The labor of replacing is going to be a little intense and you have to replace many things. You have to remove many hoses, many um, lines, fuel lines, and all the things that are going to be connected to the fuel pumps, you have to remove all that. But it's not going to be something very hard to do. If you want to see how to remove all this, you can check my channel. I have videos on how to replace the fuel pump, how to replace the fuel filter housing. I have the videos, complete videos right there, so you can guide yourself on how to remove all these the easiest way. And uh, very important is then when you are assembling this new component, you have to be sure that all the pieces that are on the kit are in there. I mean, like you have to check all the checklist that comes on this fuel filter kit because there could be some missing components. You know, it happens all the time. So if that's the case, you have to return it again a new one because once you use it, they are not going to give you the money back or they are not going to give you a different kit. Those are the things that you have to look after. That's the reason it comes with a check uh, page where, where it tells you all the components that this kit has. So you have to check all of them to be sure that this is going to be the right kit and with the right components. If you wonder too, the fuel filter housing, the new one on the kit, it comes with the filters already. Fuel filters are already in here. So you don't have to replace or remove the fuel filters. They already installed. All we have to do is just add the fuel and start the engine. And uh, if you wonder what was the reason why I replaced the fuel filter housing, the reason why is because it was letting the fuel leak. So the fuel filter housing broke inside for some reason. This one has a leak somewhere. And after inspecting it all over, couldn't, uh, couldn't find the problem, but just internally. So the solution was replacing the fuel filter housing, which is going to be beneficial over the time since these uh, three stage fuel filter kits are very hard to find right now. We are into, on November 2021 and these are very hard to find. So the two stage fuel filter kits are very easy to find compared to this one. So it's gonna be beneficial after all. But it will depend up to you if you wanna spend this much money because at the end probably you're gonna be looking to spend around $2,000 on wheel labor and other parts or more depending in where the labor is getting charged, you know, the location where you are and everything. But uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, just comment below and um, you can leave your opinions um, any type to the doubt that you have or something then probably this video didn't answer if you want to check more content on the channel just check my channel i have different videos about it go to instagram so you can see me directly go to francisco maya youtube and you want to see different things that i'm doing day by day or you can ask me questions there too check the description of the video where i have details how to send support to the channel like share subscribe and thank you for watching